Hello everybody, Mr. Lego Lover 55 here, and welcome to another Lego set review. Today we are doing my Bionicle 2016 Wave 2 mask overview. So these are all of the Wave 2 masks that we have gotten from Bionicle. Well, not all of them we got from Bionicle. So, of course, uh, this mask right here, the Mask of Ultimate Power, was not officially released. This is a 3D printed custom uh, printed mask uh, made by Cyberhand. Uh, thanks to him, he actually made it because a lot of people really wanted that mask in. Yeah, thank you, Cyberhand, once again for making that mask. And if you guys want to go buy that mask, go ahead and check the description down below in the description, and uh, it'll lead you. It'll lead you to a link to shapeways.com, and uh, yeah, you can purchase it from there. There are two scales, Titan scale and villager scale, so uh, yeah, I'll put those in the description. But uh, yeah, that's really all I wanted to say, but uh, yeah, anyways, uh, so here are pretty much all of the masks, um, not including this one, that are official from LEGO. We'll just put that back there. Um, so uh, here are all the masks that we got, and so we technically... Um, if you include the uh, Mask of Ultimate Power, we've kind of gotten all three of the legendary masks in, um, I guess, in us in one single wave, kind of. We've got, of course, the Mask of Creation, but uh, this one's in a translucent blue. We've got the Mask of Control, but this one is corrupted. And then we've got the Mask of Ultimate Power, but this is an unofficial version, of course. But uh, yeah, so then on the next row here, we have the three um, beast masks. So this one is from Quake Beast, this one's from Lava Beast, and this one is from Storm Beast. Those honestly look pretty cool. They're the same exact mold, but they do have um, oops, different uh, colors, of course. This one's purple, and I guess the trans yellow. This one's are black and trans orange, and this one's um, metro blue and trans yellowish green and then um with those beast sets they also came with corrupted versions of the toa's masks um we got three versions of those we got kopakas tahus and anuas so uh yeah we've got those there and they pretty much um are the same colors as their original masks um from the 2016 um winter wave except um for tahus his is actually more just mata red than his um um, original one, which was more of a darker red. Not metro red, but it was like darker. And uh, yeah. And then here we have this mask. Umarax uh, mask. This, this one came with the uh, um, came with the mask maker sets. Now this unfortunately wasn't even canon at all in the storyline. And I honestly don't even think it would have been. And same goes for actually these masks as well. They aren't canon at all. So that's a little bit unfortunate, but hey, oh well, they're pretty cool masks to have. Um, and this is pretty much the same as Umarak's first original masks, or mask, um, just in a different color. It is in gunmetal and trans orange. And my camera's gone out of focus, and it's back. Okay, so uh, yeah, that's pretty much all of the masks here. So pretty neat collection here. Um, unlike the Winter Wave, I actually have all the masks. Um... I don't believe there are any other collectible masks. Uh, 20, 2016 was kind of the year where there were just no more collectibles at all. The only collectibles you got were the ones in the set, and that was it. But uh, there really isn't too much else to go over, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I originally was, um, this video was meant to be the video that was uploaded on this day right now. I'm currently pre-recording this, but... This should have been a Bionicle classic review. This should have been the 2009 overview. However, I'm kind of slacking a little bit behind. I'm going to go on vacation um, away from my house, so I won't have time to do it. And I kind of slack, slack in this video off till the last minute. I'm actually recording this on the same day I recorded the Ninjago review. So, yeah, I'm kind of rushing this a little bit, and I didn't have time to set up the uh, all the 2009 sets. So... Yeah, I just decided to do this because it was uh, a lot, I could do it a lot quicker. And uh, so, yeah, sorry about that, but uh, I just had to do a Bionicle video and get this one out of the way and stuff. But uh, yeah, hopefully the next, hopefully next week I should be able to do a Bionicle classic review, which will be the 2009 overview. So, yeah. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and keep building.